it's going to be a bitch trying to find a thumbnail for this video. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, bitches! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I... <laughs> if you're new here, I make primarily gymnastics content reacting to um, classic videos of old. You know, the good stuff. So today I wanted to throw it back to my favorite era, and that of course would be the glory of the 80s. So our Soviet gymnast du jour, I stumbled across in an interesting way or somewhat interesting way. A few months ago, I was doing extensive research, desperately trying to find out who the six team member was for the 86 Goodwill Games. Every resource I could find either didn't have the full team or they only had five members. And I finally found out who it was. It probably took me literally two hours to find it. And again, my memory, I can't even think of who it is right now, but I'll put her name um, up here. <laughs> and in the process, because I'm Canadian now, in the process of doing that research, I stumbled across this amazing gymnast named Oksana Avrakova. And like so many talented country women of hers, she didn't get to compete much outside of the USSR. Her best results were at the Moscow News Meet in 1985 and 1986. She won multiple medals. I think she won the all around one of those years. She also competed at the 1986 USA versus USSR meet. Uh, I remember back like in the early days of the gym turnet, the, it was like a meme before meme was even a thing really, where people would say, you know, obscure Soviet gymnast. And that kind of is Oksana Avrakova, low key, but she is fabulous. Armine from Gage was you know, an Armenian gymnast who competed for the Soviet Union. And allegedly she did a double layout off beam like in the early 80s. Although this has not been verified, of course. <laughs> it's never been seen by any man that I'm aware of. But that is the kind of talent we're talking about from gymnasts who were not stars or famous. You know what I mean? It's crazy to think about. This video was uploaded by Ms. Maney. I did not mention them in my prior video talking about my favorite gymnastics creators, but I absolutely love them as well. And I've probably used their content multiple times. This floor routine we're gonna watch is from the 1986 Belgian Gym Masters meet. And it's only 240p. So I apologize for that, but you know, we have to deal with the hands that were dealt, as my uncle told me last weekend. This is so friggin' terrific, avant-garde. Whip to full in. The music is different, really cool. It's just like reminds me of like break dancing, street dance, like freestyle. So cool. Uh, it's almost like something like Valerie Condos would have done. It reminds me a lot of Camelia Voynet's routine from 87 Worlds. One and a half twist step out through the double full. A little short. Even that little turn there, just every single choreographic moment is a moment. <laughs> and even just how she kind of runs to the corner before her dismount. I love, I just, this is so good. Tuck double back. 
She landed quite low on her mount, all her landers, really. But I love the ending pose. <laughs> this is just so exquisite. Discovering Oksana was like randomly walking down the street and then you see a $20 bill just lying in the grass. <laughs> it was such an unexpected treat. I love this routine. <laughs> so good okay so that is all for me today thank you so much for watching this video smash that like button if you like this video please subscribe comment for engagement because i hear that helps <laughs> i look at my old videos and half the comments are mine because i <laughs> am a mess like that Hobbinsy, i'm guten tag and i will see you guys in my next one bye loves